Hi, this video is to show using PatternCAD to create a straight line that you can save as a file and use later. So we're going to tap on PatternCAD and under Pattern you want Draw Selected and Line and go ahead and tap on these red circles and you won't have any nodes going across your line. Tap on Snap to Grid and that makes it much easier to draw your straight line. I'm in simulation mode with the mouse, but if I were at my actual tablet, I could use my finger and just drag your finger across, hold down your mouse, and you have a line created. The green shows the beginning, the red shows the end. If you were to accidentally do something crazy you didn't want to, you can tap on the X and start all over. So, And it does not matter how long your line is. You can make it short because when you're in select and sew using the two nodes that will determine the length of your line. So once you have your line drawn then tap on the disk to save it. Um, you can save it wherever you want. I'm going to save it in continuous line and I want it to save right there. So I'm going to put the letter A in front of straight line and tap on enter and tap on save. So now it's ready to use. We're going to tap on the red X and I'm going to tap on no because it's already saved and tap on select and sew and I'm going to tap on a straight line and tap on open and there's my line. When you tap on all, select two points and then select stretch. And the reason that we would select stretch is because we want it to reach from wherever these two nodes are placed. And that's why we chose the, the two points, because we wanted the beginning and ending point um, with stretch. So if you wanted to do a vertical line, you would move your needle over where you wanted the stitches to begin and tap on this gray node. It changes to green. And then tap down to where you wanted that vertical line to end and tap on the other gray node. And now your vertical line is placed and ready to stitch. If you wanted to make it an angled line, you could tap to wherever you wanted the angle to be at. So wherever you place your two nodes, that's where your line is going to stitch between. If you want to reset it, just, just tap on reset and it goes back to like the pattern was when you first opened it up. If you wanted to use this for a basting stitch across the top, then move your needle up to the top left wherever you want the stitches to begin and tap on that node and then move your needle to where you want the stitches to end on the right and tap on that node. You would want to make sure that this line is straight so whatever it took to be the same distance from the rail here um, also use that same distance there. Because I'm in simulation mode, I'm not able to nudge with this node. I have to totally replace it to redo it. But if you were at your machine and you saw that this line wasn't exactly straight, you could just kind of nudge your needle just a little bit and re-tap on that green node again and, and do that until your line is totally straight. Um, down here, there's an option for show grid, so make sure that's selected because that's certainly helpful in making sure your line is straight. And then you would tap on quilt. Go into settings and you might want it to be on slow. Seven stitches per inch is the least amount of stitches per inch that you have. And say OK. And then you would pull your bobbin and tap on sew. And you've got your straight line and you would pull bobbin again and say finished. And you're back at this screen. So that's just how quick and easy that it is to create that straight line and have it to use whenever you need it. Hope you found this video helpful.